rewind the tape a bit. My life at Montessori started in Paris, France. My family moved to Baltimore, where I started here at this Montessori school in Miss Nancy's primary classroom. My first year here at Green Spring, I was sitting at a table, and Miss Nancy came over with a card in her hand. I read it aloud. T ha eh. T ha eh. Miss Nancy said the T and H make a th sound, and the was one of the most important words you need to know how to read. And she was right. <laughs> I still love reading, and I not only thank Miss Nancy for teaching me how to sound out the, but most of the other words in the dictionary as well. Miss Kathy's lower elementary class is where I made lasting friendships with kids I still know today. One of, one of them is graduating with me, James, who I look up to, literally. <laughs> and it was Miss Anna Naya's class that I took part in interactive lessons. Miss Anna and I dressed up as Thomas Jefferson once, wig, voice, and all, and told the story of Jefferson's life, keeping all the materials in a satchel by her side. Every year, we also had projects where we had to study a chosen subject. In fourth grade, I studied kink juice, fifth, Google, and in sixth, I studied uh, Falling Water, an architectural masterpiece by Frank Lloyd Wright. After three years of upper L, I was ready for middle school. In my first year here in the adolescent program, I got to design a flyer for the winter play, and as a class, we sold pizza at school. Our Odyssey trip to Chicago was an adventure. We visit places like Cloud Gate, a huge modern art sculpture shaped like a silver lima bean. This year, we did a lot of projects that I'm proud of. Some built my confidence, and others were a bit tougher, like the speech. My class built a microeconomy around making sandwiches and selling sweatshirts. Another is a toothbrick bridge that I stood on after studying the trust system. Also, my classmates and I built raised beds and grew a garden full of fruits and vegetables, ranging from cantaloupe to broccoli. A Chinese proverb reads, teachers open doors, but you must walk through yourself. Here in Montessori, teachers give you the opportunity to seize the reins and take responsibility for your learning experience. With the guidance of my teachers, and especially my parents this year, I feel I'm prepared for high school next year. After months of shadowing at schools in Baltimore, it had me realizing something. Montessori is unique. I am taught to think freely and show my point of view and be curious. I not only learn the hard facts, but how the gears work behind them. The teachers, through seminar and lesson, have prepared us graduates for what lies ahead, and I'm ready to take these skills to high school next year. Before I leave, I'd like to thank Ms. Nancy for teaching me how to pronounce my THs, Ms. Kathy for growing my friendships, Ms. Ananiah for introducing me to the World Atlas, Mr. Kasnick for challenging me with math for two years, Mr. McFarlane for making gardening and science fun, but most importantly, I'd like to thank my parents my brother and sister, for supporting me in every subject, school, and sport that I've chosen. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. So, Mom and Dad. <laughs>